Okay, so today we're going to be doing a training video on picking up containers and loading them onto a truck and then offloading them from a truck to a trailer. Today we're going to be using a 50 yard container, um, but the procedure is exactly the same for a 50 or a 30 yard container, either way. Okay, so now we're in the cab and first thing you're going to want to do is engage your PTO. On this truck, you're not going to be able to see me engage it because it's over here, the steering column's in the way. Um, you're going to want to engage your PTO and then you're going to get, we're going to want to get lined up with the container. You want to get your truck square with the container and then you're going to want to using these controls here, you want to slide, slide your arm all the way back and then tip your hook back into the proper spot to hook onto the container. Okay, now that we've got our hook into close to the right position, what we're going to do now is back onto the container. As we're backing onto the container, once we get close, you can use your controls in the cab to lift your hook up or down as you need to be able to hit the eye, the lifting eye. Once you get really close, just take it nice and slow. You don't need to be going really fast because if you hit that container hard, you can do damage to your hook or to the eye or to the pin that we use when we're hooking the spider onto shipping containers. So just go nice and slow and make an easy connection there as you're doing that. Okay, so now that we've got a container loaded onto the truck, we're going to go over the procedure for offloading the container onto off of your truck and onto a trailer. Again, just, just as important when we're loading the container, we need to be square. Um, when we pick that container up onto your truck, you want to be square with your truck and the container. Same thing with the truck onto the trailer. On these, all of these containers, all of these trucks, your fenders stay pretty even, okay? So if you get your fenders lined up, the edge of your container will all line up evenly with that trailer. If your tr truck and your trailer are sitting a little off, then your container is going to go on wrong. So make sure you're square. Also, you just always want to make sure that the spot that you've chosen to unhook your trailer is level so that you're not trying to push your container. Your truck and your trailer need to be on level ground so that your truck or your trailer is not sitting wrong. of using the truck and the container to bridge you between the trailer. You'll notice that I've got the, the feet of my container are, are on evenly on the container, or the, the trailer rather, inside my stops there. One thing you always want to make sure of, as these 
as you slide back, if your ratchets are, are out like this, you will break that carpet. Just make sure you keep those pushed in. But now I'm just going to let the, the hydraulics of the truck push, push this, unload this container and push my truck out until my container is flat and then I can push it on. Okay, so we've got the container onto the trailer. We've transferred it from the truck to the trailer. Now we're just going to go over strapping the container down and then we'll be ready to hook up with our truck and go deliver this container. Okay, so our container strapped down and secured to the trailer. We're ready to pull our truck around, hook up, and deliver this container to the job site.